working right. So let's. So it seems to be giving me trouble when I try to insert an edge there. Um, let's leave it like this and see what it looks like. We could always um, figure it out after that. So let's um, right click, go to object mode, and then hit Q to get your select tool. And then select the, the vase or the, the pot, whatever you want to call it. And then go to mesh and then smooth. And then let's click off of this and see how it looks. I think that looks fine. And let's just um, right click and go to vertex. Select all the vertices. I missed a few. Select them all. Grab the move tool and let's move this up. So it's sitting on the, the grid. All right, right click, go to object mode. Let's call this um, pot, enter, and then let's hit save. So control S to save. Now let's make our plant. So first let's make like the soil or whatever is gonna sit in here. Um, to do that, I'm just gonna create a cylinder. Uh, create polygon primitives and go to cylinder. And we'll just, you know, I'm just gonna click on vertex. So right click, go to vertex, select all the vertices and hit the scale tool, which is R and scale this down. So it's like a, just like a disc. And then let's um, hit our move tool. So W to move and let's move it up. And we just kind of want to go to the wireframe. So hit four and just make sure that our little disc is kind of penetrating into the pot so we don't have any gaps. So I'm just going to scale this a little bit and kind of look at it from the top and just make sure that it's not extending past the pot, but it's going into it enough that we don't see any gaps. And then let's go back to shaded. All right, so we have a dirt, so let's name that like dirt. D-I-R-T. Hit save, and now we need to like actually make the leaves and the plant part. So let's make like a stem. Then we'll make leaves that come off of it. So let's do, let's go to create, let's create a cone. So let's go to polygon primitives and let's go to cone. And let's go to wireframe just so we can see it. And let's go to the polycone input here, the construction history and click that and then hit uh, subdivisions and the height. So let's do like, let's do like 10. And I think that should be good. And let's change the radius. Let's make it really thin. So let's kind of zoom in. That's 0 0.02. Let's do like point. I'm sorry, that's 0 0.2. Let's do like 0 0.05. I think that's good. And then let's um, click on that. Let's go back to shaded. Let's, uh, I'm sorry, go back to wireframe, hit four and right click, go to vertex. Now I'm moving a little bit faster now, but if you need to, just pause the video or slow it down, whatever you need to do to follow along. Uh, so grab all these vertices, um, hit W to move them up. Let's move them up into the dirt. Um, let's hit five to shade it. Um, let's add some like weird curvy bendiness to this. So we could um, like select this row of vertices, hit the B key to get the soft select hold it down, hold down the B key, middle mouse drag, and get your fall off to be something appropriate. And then um, just kind of, you know, add some, some natural, you could hit rotate, you could just click this and you could do it from um, different sides too. So it's not a straight line in one view, but the other view is curvy. So again, you know, you could do the same thing. So now we got this kind of I don't know, bendy stem thing. Maybe that's too much. Maybe I'll move it back over a little bit. So maybe it needs to move in a couple of other directions. So I'll look at it from the top and kind of maybe pull this like that or, you know, just give it some more natural curvature.
sweet. So let's um, go right click, go back to object mode. We'll name this uh, stem. Uh, control S to save it. Now let's make a leaf. Um, now to make a leaf, we're gonna use a different tool. We're actually, let's just go, um, let's just grab the stem in the pot and let's just move them out of the way in the dirt. Just kind of move them off to the side and let's create a polygon plane. So let's go to create polygon primitives and go to plane. And what that is, is just like a two dimensional plane. And let's change the, the resolution of this. So it's not as dense. Let's change it to five by five. So click on subdivision width and subdivision height and then change that to five. And then right click, go to vertex mode. Let's make our leaf. So I'm going to maybe click on these two rows and let's turn off so, uh, soft selection. So I'm gonna hit B to turn that off. Let's go to scale. I'm gonna scale them from the side and kind of scale these in so it's real thin. And then maybe grab this row and scale them. And we're just gonna like make like a leaf profile like this. And then we're not gonna scale these to an exact point, but we could zoom in and, and move those. Undo that, there there we go, something weird happened. Uh, scale this in, and then what we could do is we could grab these vertices and just move them out, and then grab these vertices here, hold down shift to select them, and then uh, move these in like that. We get like a nice kind of leaf shape, and then we want to um, maybe bend up the sides. So maybe I'll grab like these two outer vertices, hold down shift and grab the other ones, and then do a soft select, and then kind of set your fall off. You know, hold down B, middle mouse drag to set your fall off, and then drag those points up. Maybe um, pick these vert vertices here. And again, I hold down shift to select them and then pull these up to get kind of a more of a rounder thing. And then maybe we wanna pick these vertices in the middle and we can actually hit R to scale them and scale them in to get like more of like a sharper crease down the middle. Grab these guys and scale them in as well. Let's, um, let's grab these vertices here and then these. And we're gonna pull those up. Let's turn off soft select, so I'll hit B to turn that off and pull these up. And then maybe I'll grab all these vertices along the tip here, and I'll hit the E button to rotate, and I'll rotate on the one axis down, and then pull them down with my move tool, hit W, and we'll get kind of our leaf, and maybe I'll grab the beginning vertices here and rotate those so we get more of like a bend. And I'll move them down. And then finally, I'll just grab these beginning vertices here and just move them down. So we get kind of like this bent leaf shape. So now we need to extrude this. But before we do that, I want to add another loop of edges right here, just at the end of the stem or like the stem of the leaf. And then, um, so let's go right click, go to object mode go to mesh tools and go to insert edge loop. And let's just insert an edge loop pretty close there to help to hold that shape when we smooth it. Um, go to our select tool, so hit Q, right click and go to object mode and let's extrude this to add some thickness. So we'll go to mesh extrude or edit mesh, I always forget, extrude and then again, drag out along that blue arrow just a little bit because it's just a thin leaf and then we'll right click and go to object mode and then go to mesh smooth and let's click off of it and see what it looks like so I think it looks like a pretty cool little leaf um, you know maybe this is a bit too flat and boxy so, I mean, if I were to spend time and fix that, I would probably undo the smooth. 